One of the hardest things to do in life is admit when you failed, whether it be work, school, family, relationships, friendships, or in my case, something a little bit less important like cars, but unfortunately, that's exactly what I've done here. On a more positive note, surprise, the Genesis Coupe is finally in the garage after sitting outside in the driveway, neglected for the last eight months. Now to kick off this video, I do want to say thank you to everybody who has subscribed to this channel. I don't even honestly remember when the last time I uploaded a video was, but in the meantime, we still managed to somehow hit that 1,000 subscribers milestone. Now on one hand, that's a bittersweet moment because I am happy that I did it. However, I do think that I should have been able to accomplish that a lot sooner. And I'll kind of roll into the entire point of this video. But for now, I do want to say thank you so much to everybody who has subscribed to this channel on this journey, even though I have done a very bad job guiding you guys through. It. For the last three years, I've had an opportunity that not many people will get. And to be honest with you, I've completely failed and dropped the ball to capitalize on that opportunity. Ever since COVID and up until a few months ago, I've pretty much had unlimited free time. Now, during that free time, I was supposed to use that to get a handle and get a grip on this whole YouTube thing. 2021 was supposed to be the year that I was going to use to figure out and just kind of get the overall census and get a general idea on what I wanted to do. 2022 was going to be the year that I was going to hunker down, redo the entire Genesis Coupe and make a ton of videos on it in the process. While doing that, I was going to use this YouTube channel to take the opportunity to share all of my knowledge and experience that I've gained working on this car and modifying it for the last nearly decade. Now, to be honest with you, I couldn't have dropped the ball on all of those aspects more if I had tried. Not only did I not get anything accomplished and done on this car last year, I also feel like I haven't actually made any videos sharing all of my knowledge with you guys. And honestly, that's ultimately what I wanted to accomplish with this YouTube channel. I've always said that I have no real interest in becoming a social media influencer, and as corny as this may sound, I want to be an inspiration, not an influencer. The term influencer, in my opinion, has a very negative connotation to it, where the goal is for that person to trick you into liking what they're trying to advertise. Instead, I want to sit here and be an inspiration and tell people to like what they want to like, not what somebody is telling them that they should like. And to do that, I want to try and help educate people on the correct way to do things, especially the things that should not work out as well as I have allowed them to work out. For example, everybody is going to tell you that this car behind me with all this camber, stretch tires, and being as low as it is, drives like complete shit. However, if you ever were in the passenger seat and rode along with me, you'd realize that this car drives like a completely factory car. Aside from the suspension being stiff, which is my personal preference, I could easily just soften up the suspension on this car, and it would drive even more like a factory car straight off the dealership lots. Now, where I differ from other creators is that I'm not going to tell you that stance is the only way that you should build your car. Instead, what I want to do is tell you how to do that properly. So that way, if you are inspired to build a stance car, you know what to do to do it correctly. I want everybody who likes stance to have the pleasure and experience of driving a car quite like this one and have it work as a normal car should. Now, on the other hand, I also failed to take advantage of all that free time that I previously mentioned and use that to actually work on my car. Now, when we originally laid out this plan of getting out of this situation at the garage in Salem and moving all of my stuff as well as the car here to my mother's house, it was because the timing worked out perfectly. I had my days completely free so I could come here during the day, work on my car, film, and make as much noise as I wanted. Then in the afternoon when everybody was coming home, I could wrap things up and make everything quiet again so that way I wasn't disturbing anybody upstairs. On top of that, I still really don't like filming while other people are around. I still think it's really awkward and really weird, which is exactly why you haven't seen me film much outside of the garage, like when I'm at car shows or anything like that with this car out in public. And so filming when nobody was here was the ultimate plan. So now that I no longer have that unlimited free time and my days are tied up now, I'm really starting to feel the effects of not focusing when that opportunity was present and then taking full advantage of it. In all honesty, if I had known things were gonna develop like this, I really would've been better off just keeping a private garage. At the private garage, I'd obviously have a lot more free time by myself in the afternoons and early evenings that I would be a lot more comfortable with filming. Now, I have still been looking for a garage or at least looking for a garage again. I kind of stopped for a while, but I am looking for one again. However, there just really isn't anything around that's really affordable for me to go out and justify spending that much money on a garage right now. I did find one that was really promising and I was actually about to go look at it Two Sundays ago, but unfortunately last minute right before I was gonna leave, they ended up texting me and saying, we decided that we're no longer gonna rent it out. We don't feel like cleaning out the space and therefore we're just gonna keep it for ourselves and use it as storage. And that was a total, total bummer. 
Now, don't get me wrong. I could easily go out and find a garage for like $2,000 a month and it'd be a perfect industrial commercial garage and everything that I really wanted and needed. However, the question is, is that really worth it? And the answer right now is absolutely not. So what I'm trying to get at here and why I'm saying all of this is learn from my mistakes. Don't be like me and not take advantage of an opportunity when it presents itself, especially if it seems too good to be true. Don't let outside factors hinder your mindset to the point that it keeps you frozen in place and unable to achieve whatever your goals may be. As far as the future of the Genesis Coupe, what I plan on doing filming wise and any of that kind of stuff, I do plan on making another one of these hopefully short-ish videos to go over all of that. Because honestly, right now, I really have no idea. I do want to redo the car. However, it is getting really late in the year. I really would like to drive my car by my birthday and have it look decently presentable. And I've just kind of let way too much time go by where I don't have enough time anymore to completely redo this car if I want to drive it on my birthday, which is Labor Day weekend, which at the time of this video probably being posted it is probably less than a week maybe two weeks away and so therefore i really don't know what the future of the genesis coupe is obviously i'm going to keep it i'm probably never actually going to get rid of this car unless i'm really in a bad spot or really just kind of over the car in general however so far i can tell you that i am keeping this car i am going to redo it whether or not i'm filming all of that i really don't know yet and if i'm going to be doing it here once again i really don't know but hopefully soon i do figure that out and when i do i will make another video updating it on exactly what my plans are going forward but on that note guys i'm effectively going to wrap up today's video thank you for watching and for those of you who have subscribed to this channel even though i feel like i've completely dropped the ball i greatly greatly appreciate it but for now peace out and i'll catch you guys on the next one